All right, welcome. Um, right now I'm going to be previewing and testing uh, PowerPoint. So we're going to go over here, uh, select Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office PowerPoint. All right, and the first thing is this PowerPoint um, it's very similar to the 2007 version of PowerPoint. I find the interface a little cleaner, a little easier to use, and you can do a lot of things with it rather easily. So we are going to start um, creating our first slide here. All right, we're going to name this Randomness, and this is going to be Random Slides. Perfect. So under here, we're going to do some quick styles, uh, some blue and some uh, some orange. That looks nice. Very professional, isn't it? Um, we're going to create a star here. And we're going to put that here. We can center it. And um, I'm going to create an animation. So we can have it fly in, float in, spin, I mean split, wipe. So they have many great animations. You can customize your animations to any degree you want. Um, I am going to choose a um, bounce. That would be cool. So it kind of has a random bounce effect if you want to preview it full screen. So the way it automatically does its animations is when you click it happens. So when I click it will bounce off and then when I click again it'll go to the next slide so that's that's pretty easy um, you can probably also set the trigger very easily to load the animation the second the slide pops up alright we're gonna create a new slide here to create a new slide you can also hit enter um, we're gonna start with a chart showing uh, let's see. You can have a bar. We're going to create a pie graph. And so the first thing it does is it opens up um, Excel. Pretty easy. They work together. It brings up a little chart here. In the first quarter, I uh, I sold like we're just going to say 123, right? And then so it shrinks the rest automatically. And if I want to add a new a new um a new part to the chart, I can just type it in. Fifth QTR. And then on this bar here, so see it already puts it in. I'm going to type in uh 45 and so that splits up the chart even more and makes it even more confusing. All right. So I've created a chart. And when you're done creating your chart and editing your chart, you can close that. And you can, I'm going to say this is uh, profits. And we're going to say this is profit. We're going to say this is profits. And this here is profit gains. All right. Pretty cool. And uh, if we go into design, I can choose any number of designs. Um, and you can choose different types of labeling techniques. Uh, we like this, so we're going to go with that. Uh, layout, 3D rotation. You can pretty easily alter the 3D rotation. We're going to put in a 50 here. And so that's just a different rotation. And if you mouse over each each part, it will show you the different the different uh, the different effects and the numbers and you can easily outline your chart we're gonna outline my chart in orange and then the text we're going to make unreadable Just a lot of fun text effects. Um, I'm going to leave that stuff alone. <laughs> All 
All right, so we create a new one here. I am going to create an animation, show you a few of the animation techniques. Um, so we're going to insert some smart art graphic. We're going to do the hexagons here to show uh, hex. So this is hex 1, hex 2, hex 3, hex 4, hex 5, and hex 6. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be... Uh... And then, so here we have my chart. I'm going to make a few of these different colors. And uh, then we're going to go back under design. And we're going to make my hex look fancy. Oh, and by the way, this changes all the slides. But this makes my, my slideshow look all that much more uh, important. So you can edit in any way you want. Um, I'm going to create an animation here. And just quickly, I'm going to make those look fancier. That's cool. All right. So we're going to animate this. Um, they have many different animation effects uh, that you can utilize. I personally, myself, like uh, to use... I'm going to... Uh, oh, the other cool thing you can do is you create motion paths. So it will spin in circles or do whatever kind of design you want. Uh, right now, I'm going to use the wheel effect, so it will fade out, and I actually meant to make it so it faded in, so we're going to do this wheel. Alright, great. And now I'm going to set a trigger on click of title 1, which is this hex, that's the title, and when I click that, it will play the animation. So we're just going to start our slideshow from the beginning, see what we've gotten ourselves into. All right, I click. I can make my star bounce along and fall out the bottom of random slides. We click here. We have profit gains. We get to look at all that cool stuff. Uh, my hex. So it looks like nothing until I click. I meant to click title. If you click the title, it'll load uh, your stuff. The other thing you can do is you can create a hyperlink to any type of file. So, let's say I'm making a tutorial on regedit. Alright? That's good. And then, what I'm going to want to do is type in regedit tut. And that should be cool. And we'll insert a shape and it will be a seven another kind of hex object and and then oh the other thing I I didn't mention is that you can do lots of different text effects and 3d rotations so I like that all right so I've got this shape which is great um And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Insert, Action, and then on mouse click, that object is going to symbolize regedit. So if I'm teaching a tutorial on regedit, I'm going to take, I'm going to, on mouse click, have this load regedit. All right, so I'm making a tutorial on regedit. Let's take a look on what this looks like. Whoops, didn't mean to create a new slide. And we'll preview this as a slideshow. So I'm teaching regedit, and they go through my points and everything, and then I want to show them an actual regedit. So I click this, and I'll enable all, and it opens regedit here. So I can I can make this open any, any program I want. Um, and we can take a look because I'm going to wrap up the video here. My star, profit gains, hex, and then regedit. So, thanks for watching.